always like to do well in Dallas. I think, you know, Dallas is one of the biggest competitions for us. So we want to do our best. Um, we knew we weren't ready. We knew it was a very difficult routine. I think we had a ton of difficulty in that routine. And because of that, you have to be physically and mentally in shape to hit. And things were a little scattered for us just because of the weather, because of our other teams having to fix things here and there. So I don't think that they were as focused as I would have liked them to be. All right, so let's get started. Can I have somebody lead warm-ups over here on the black floor? I got you, Misty. All right. <laughs> Listen to Brashawn. Yeah, I believe the storm settled. Uh, we were just uh, a little disappointed in our finish at Dallas. Uh, I believe we weren't quite focused, and I, honestly, I just don't think we were ready. We tried to get uh, some stuff together a little bit too quick. Brashawn, squat and shoulder shot. No, these things. Oh, no, we're not going to You need to. Squat and shoulder shot. You got ninth place. You need to do those. <laughs> The storm since Dallas, man. Clearly Dallas did not go anywhere close to where we planned. I was thinking top three, you know, actually going pretty far, and then we end up getting seventh place, and, and that was kind of a wake-up call. After Dallas, it hit a lot of us pretty hard, especially the people who made the mistakes. They were really upset. I busted on center. It was horrible. I'm not really upset about it because it was an ugly bust. Kind of made it pretty. We all said, Stunt falls. What do you expect after only having a full team for a month and a half? Like, you can't expect to go out and go perfect. I mean, it happens and it's the nature of the sport, so you just move on from it and remember that feeling and hope for a better outcome next time. I feel like at the end of the day, we have to accept it for what it is and um, really just put in the work from here on forward in order to better ourselves as a team. That division is just really, really tough. So for their placement, you know, I was not surprised. We didn't hit. We didn't hit either day. And because of that, when you drop, you know, we don't expect to be high. We don't expect to be top three when we do not do our best. So I think it's definitely motivation and something for us to work for. All right, tonight I need to see what you guys have done as far as when Wes came in with the choreography changes because I have not seen that yet. So I need to see that. And we can go piece by piece and section by section. So we can pull it apart, clean it up, make sure everything's gonna work, okay? Hopefully you remember the changes. He probably will be back in one more time before Worlds, but I just wanna make sure you know what you're doing right now. And we switch it and change it this weekend. We got three practice days to clean it up, okay? Oh, it's definitely going to be motivation to work a lot harder. Seventh place is an awful feeling, especially when you're used to winning a lot of the competitions that you go to. But I believe they needed that. You know, they needed that as an athlete, and I think we needed it as coaches just to knock us back down and, and put everything into perspective and show us kind of where we stood at the time and what we needed to do to make it better. Personally, I want to push everybody to do their best, and I'm going to do my best in order for everyone to, you know, hit two solid routines and really just be a contender when we go down to Worlds. And, you know, give it our best shot. I definitely think our team's gonna be working a lot harder for Worlds. We have a lot to do, so. Well, obstacles always pull people together. I, I always say obstacles are stepping stones to success. It's always good for kids to go through trials so they learn how to handle those obstacles in life. So next to you is Sean, correct? No, Sean's in the front row. Okay, who is that? That's nobody. That's nobody. That's nobody. It's supposed to be Okay. It looks a little weird. For the last few weeks, a lot of the team has been, like, just kind of split up. There was Champions League going on, so the coaches were away. And then we had uh, the U of L tournament. We were actually out of town at another competition with some of our younger All-Star teams when Wes came to do the choreography. Other teams went to California for the Champions League. Some people went out to a tournament. So we haven't really had a real practice since NCA. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six. Stop right there. What do you do forward? The last few weeks, I've actually been away from the team. I haven't really practiced with them. I remember we had choreography, and then the next weekend we didn't have practice. Practice was canceled. The reason for that is because we're solely focused on U of L now, since Nationals is right around the corner. So we're trying to get, you know all our time in and our reps in for U of L. That way we could hit a good routine and hopefully hit two perfect routines. What about a punch front? Okay. Now I have a question. Was he the line by himself or are we all the line together? So cool. You all were here, not me. Yes. Okay. Much better. Okay. It was nice to be back at practice again just because, like I said, it's been three weeks since we've actually been here as a team. Well, 
we came together today, full 24 people. <laughs> um, you know, today is our first practice back since Dallas, all together. The last practice that we had before this, we were getting the choreography from Wes. We kind of just went through the routine, refreshed everyone's memory, found our path to what spot we go to next. I believe the changes that we're making are going to be for the best and help us out in the best way possible. I want. I want Michael Eddy and Trey to switch, and I want Swoopy and Terrell to switch now, since I saw the formation. Okay, ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Stop, stop, stop. I want you to switch on the toe bowls. The chemistry on the team, I think, is good for the most part. I think sometimes we have a problem talking a lot because we're all friends and we have a lot of characters on the team. The team chemistry, I feel, is great. We always... There's no drama, which is good, because drama sucks. We'll look at that next. Just do this part, okay? Let's go back again. Just do the opening to where you go to toe fulls. I think the team chemistry is wonderful right now. Everybody's friends. Sometimes it's a little bit too much, and we talk and get off, off track. But um, overall, it's great, and it's so much fun being at practice. Sometimes we tend to talk over the coaches a little too much. We haven't seen each other since Dallas, so just being with each other, we all want to know, you know, what's been up, what's been going on. People have went to California and went back home and did a bunch of things, you know, throughout that time. So we're kind of just catching up, which, you know, we shouldn't talk at practice, but we love each other and that's just how it is. Okay, ready? We need to see this. We have no idea what it looks like. The team chemistry is awesome right now. We have some new people on the team. We just made a couple substitutions that I feel like is really going to help the strength of the team in stunting, which is where we had a little bit of issues in Dallas. Um, but I believe our strength is up now and our stunts are going to be really good. Luke and Charity were in my stunt group and they were both on a different team and they can't do blink anymore. So after NCA, it was like, okay, you're getting a whole new flyer and you're getting a new stunt partner. Hi, I'm the new guy. <laughs> Uh, my name is George Beza, I'm 26, and I'm from Seattle, Washington. Try these a couple times on your own before we put them together. Good try. We felt that we needed that. We have a lot of tumbling. Most of our guys are really good tumblers. So we added a stunner guy just to be able to um, enhance the difficulty. I just got really excited. Missy called me and she said, hey, we need another stunner boy. So I was like, okay, well, I mean, I'll do it. I mean, it's fun to stunt, you know? Hey, keep your, keep your body weight onto the uh, back spot. Don't go straight up on the girls or they will drop you. Keep your weight over top of the boy. My name is Sarah and I am from Washington, D.C. and I'm 20 years old. I wasn't able to go with the team to cheer sport, but I was able to go to Dallas. I got sick um, the week before cheer sport. So she was unable to compete. Um, she is back now, healthy, ready to go, um, and she's doing a great job for us. He's not they getting have, them in time. They, yeah, they have to make contact before they touch the floor. Okay, look guys, real quick. Real quick, you've got to grab them before they go up, because if you wait, their weight's already coming back down, okay? So try that again, and we're gonna do it all together once you guys get it. I already have a connection to Michael Eddy because he's Mexican and I'm Mexican. Uh, they just started this weekend with practicing, so it is their first time learning the stunt, the new stunt, um, and working together. Just all three of them are working in a brand new group. Um, so it's just learning timing, working together, trying to feel comfortable hitting that difficult stunt. I think now, after Dallas, we knew we had time so we could actually start from scratch, go through the routine, and make changes, and feel comfortable by the end of April they'll be able to hit it. You step on one or five. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, we're gonna need to do that so that they can get timing every single time. I believe the kids know what they need to do and, and they're, they're carrying it out. We're gonna change the pyramid, the stunt, the tumbling, the sequences, the formations, transitions, everything this team will change before Worlds. Well, we got a new routine, so I guess that's a start. During choreography, we were, we were super excited to see all the new creative stuff that was going in. We were like, yeah, yeah, and everyone was just really pumped. So the chemistry, I felt, was really good. I really hope that we have a lot more visuals going on, just because in the last pyramid, like, 
we had a nice visual and then it was dead time and then we had another visual and then it was dead time like it wasn't constant I think the new routine is a lot more creative than the old routine we're trying to focus on visual effects instead of just difficulty and I think that's gonna resonate well with our scores I love Wes's new routine it's very flowy it's not really like cut so after each section it is a transition to the next section which I really like we did get a new dance, and we're getting a new pyramid, I've heard. I'm not positive. I'm looking forward to that. I always love learning new, new pyramids, and Kaylin comes up with really creative and visual things. Same thing, you all. You're setting him down too early. That needs to stall out longer. I do like the new routine. I think it's different for us. I think there's a lot of variety. We kind of went off of what we had originally, and we just added some things to make it look a little bit more exciting. I think the new routine is awesome. It's very creative, very visual, um, a super clean routine, but also fun to watch and easy on the eyes. Wes is an amazing choreographer, and he has a lot of creativity in his routines. This one has a whole lot of creativity. Again, from the beginning. Yes. Yes, the part with the baskets got to go every time. Try to really freeze on eight and don't set their feet down. Don't part. start we until one. We need to one. see you freeze and go. Okay. A lot of the college kids have a lot going on with Daytona and University of Louisville cheer and all of that. So, you know, it's just a really busy schedule for like more than half of the team. A lot of us are on U of L and they practice every single day sometimes three times a day before Daytona. We leave for Daytona for U of L in two weeks, I think, from today. With Daytona right around the corner, I feel like right now a main focus is going to be the University of Louisville. And as soon as Daytona happens and we come back, then we'll probably literally practice every single day until we go to Worlds. Pretty sure that after Daytona is going to be done, we're going to go full force in the gym and actually be able to give 150%. So hopefully everything pulls through for Worlds. After NCA, we had spring break for U of L, and during that time, we did Hell Week for U of L cheer. So it was a lot of conditioning and doing sections of the routine and just getting in shape. And I think that's going to help everybody who's on U of L cheer with um, being ready to compete for Worlds. I absolutely think we should work a lot on our cardio before we compete. I mean, when you get tired at the end of the routine, that's all a matter of just repetition and conditioning. You know, this it's a two minute and 30 second routine, but it is so hard. You are doing something constantly and <laughs> your time for breathing is not that much. And, and so if we're tired at the end of the routine, we probably have to go full out a lot more. I feel like we should have the cardio, but for some reason we don't. I think it just comes with kind of slacking a little bit. I think cardio is the best thing for, for a cheer routine. Like, you know, whether we're doing it as a team at practice or you're doing it on your own, you need cardio. Cardio is so important. Don't worry about the tumbling, just do the motions. Try to actually do the real motion, like be sharp. I think definitely we have a lot of tumbling and that's a strength for our team. All of our boys um, are very talented in their tumbling. The so weakness is this, that we can't practice during the week. Definitely, we only have the weekends, so that makes it really hard. Um, you really need to do something three or four days a week for it to become very normal for you and to feel real comfortable and we just don't have that luxury. Rhodes is in four weeks. I don't think it's enough time for us to fine tune it but I'm praying that we can dig deep and make it work. Here we go. Mark the toe full. Three, four, five, None six, of this. seven, hit, eight. One, keep going. Three, four, move five, go to the lines, hit seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight. I think it, a lot of it's going to depend on everyone's dedication with the three weeks that we do have and the time that everyone else puts into just the team in general at practice and outside of practice. I don't think the placement at Dallas affects how often we practice. I think that we will practice the same on the weekends and maybe once or twice during the week if we can make it possible. I think that we'll put in more effort towards practices since the outcome of Dallas. I think there's definitely an advantage in our U of L athletes because in two weeks they compete in Daytona for college nationals, so they are already in routine shape. The kids on U of L, which is probably half of us, we're going to be conditioned because we're attempting to go full out on hard floor right now, which is way harder than spring floor. So the U of L kids are going to be fine whenever it comes time to run the routine full out for Worlds. One, three, five, seven, eight, one. That's why they have who they have. It's kind of funny how the roles kind of reverse because towards the beginning of the year when we were doing Blink stuff, I feel like Blink really got me ready for U of L. Now that U of L is starting to really, you know, kick gear, U of L is preparing me for Blink for World. So I feel like for sure our bodies will be ready, but for the other people, it may be a little bit tougher to, you know, get that cardio in. Let's mark that with actually 
taking that to the ground. One count pop, down, up, down, lift and move. Go back to the ball ups, go to the three, the motion on three again. I think that our team is going to be in shape by the time we get to Worlds. Everybody on U of L is conditioning um, with U of L, and everybody who's not is going into the gym on their own, and they're lifting or tumbling. So I think we'll be ready as far as our bodies go. Because of the U of L athletes are doing a two minute and 15 second routine right now, they are already conditioning routine shape, and and that's different. It's different than doing cardio. It's different than doing lifting. It's it's a whole different type of being in shape. Four weeks is enough time if you if you do it right. I mean, if you if you're slacking off, goofing around, you won't get you won't get anywhere. Um, I hope that there's enough time in the next four weeks. But like I said, individually we're great. So I know if all of us put in 110 percent, I think we have enough time. The most important thing for your score sheet is stunt and pyramid. That's the almost the entire score sheet. Okay, well, if you need to fix tumbling. All tumbling yeah. needs to be synchronized. That's what I'm saying. Yes. So if you're gonna fix that, then you'll add count. Yep. That's what we have to do. I would really love to, you know, go out and win worlds again just because it's I mean it's a world title. Who doesn't want that? I want it as bad as as any other time I've won it. I mean nothing's really changed. I'm a competitor. I come to win. I, I want it bad more than anything. I like I want to get back to it. I just want all the hard work that we're gonna put in into worlds to to pay off. But you know that that comes on us. I feel like going through slowly today, we went through the whole beginning and went through the stunts. The only thing that we really have left is running tumbling, the pyramid, and we already have the dance. So it's literally just fine tuning everything and getting comfortable with it. And I know it's a lot, but we, like I said, the stunt and the pyramid, we have to spend the most time on because that's the biggest part of the score sheet. And that is what we have to spend our time on, that we can hit it, okay? Sunday practice is gonna be the morning practice at 10, okay? So you guys gotta get some rest. Be ready to go, work hard. We gotta get this done this weekend, okay? Hey, good job! Really good job pushing through this whole beginning though. Yeah, okay. we got that part we got done. We got three, we got three! One, two, three, 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 three,